Hello, how are you? I'm glad to see you again. I wish I could see you in person. We're going to get started on our song, okay? I wish I had a little red box to put my cree in. I'd take him out. I'd hug, hug, hug and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Adeline in. I'd take her out. I'd hug, hug, hug and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Aniston in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Owen in. I'd take him out, I'd hug, 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 and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Morris in. I'd take him out and I would hug, 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 and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Ellen in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Sophia in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Eli in. I'd take him out. I'd hug, hug, hug and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Nicholas in. I'd take him out. I'd hug, hug, hug and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Wade in. I'd take him out. I'd hug, hug, hug and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my packs in the end. I'd take him out, I'd hug, 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 and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Caleb in. I'd take him out, I'd hug, 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 and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Brantley in. I'd take him out, I'd hug, 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 put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Carter in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Meredith in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Evelyn in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Avy in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Olivia in. I'd take her out, I'd hug, 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 and put her back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Grayson in. I'd take him out, I'd hug, 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 and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Jagger in. I'd take him out, I'd hug, 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 and put him back again. I wish I had a little red box to put my Joseph in. I'd take him out, I'd hug, 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 and put him back again. Okay, hello everyone. I wish you were here so I could give you all a hug. Maybe not too long we can get together. Today we're going to read a book about smelly socks. Chewy! Do you wear smelly socks? Do you remember in the winter time when I took my shoes off one time, y'all teased me about my socks being smelly? My socks weren't smelly, they were clean socks. But this little girl, she doesn't wash her socks. This book was written by Robert Munich. He is the author. And the person that drew these pictures is the illustrator and his name is Michael Marchinko. And remember, this is the spine, the front page, and the back page. That's right. The name of our book is Smelly Socks. Smelly Socks. This is Tina, and this is her mama. Okay? When Tina wanted new socks, 
her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river to the store that has really good socks? Tina, we can't drive across the river because there's no bridge. And it takes a long, long, long time to get to where there is a bridge. And besides, we don't have a car. Isn't that strange not to have a car? So Tina went to her grandfather and she said, Can you please take me across the river in the boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor's not working on the boat, said Grandfather. We can row, said Tina. We can row. I will row and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said Grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. Look at her. She's yelling at Grandfather. Do you know why? He's using a chainsaw and chainsaws are noisy. He's using his chainsaw to to make that bird or a dinosaur. So Tina got in the boat and she rowed slowly. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in circles. Tina rowed fast. Splash, 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 splash. And the boat went in faster circles. Swish, 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 swish. This boat has forgotten how to row. Look at this. I don't think the boat had anything to do with it. I think it was Tina's rowing. What do you think? You sit in the back, said Grandfather, and you tell me what to do, and I will row. So Tina did. She sat in the back, and she told Grandfather how to row, and Grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then they walked all the way through town to the big sock store. Look at that big sock store. Look at the kids swimming in the river. At the store, Tina tried on lots of socks. She tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too small. She tried on some that were too blue, some that were too pink. She tried on millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found the perfect pair. They were red, yellow, and green. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, her and Grandfather hurried back to the boat. And this time, Tina rowed, and the boat remembered how to row. Look at her socks. Do you like them? She must love them. When they got back home, Tina ran to her mama and yelled, Socks! Socks! Wonderful socks! These are the best socks I've ever had. I'm never going to take them off. Never! 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 Tina's mother said, Never? Never! said Tina. Uh-oh! said mother. Tina wore her socks for 10 days. The whole, whoops, we missed a page. I'm sorry. Let me back up. So Tina wore her socks a long time. She wore them for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 whole days. Her mother said, you know, I know you love the socks, but can I just wash them real quick? If we don't, they're going to start to smell. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I'm never, ever, ever going to take them off. She, mother said, but if you don't, pretty soon the kids are going to tell you that they stink. They still said, socks, socks, wonderful socks. I'm never going to take them off. So after that, Tina wore them for 10 more days. A whole flock of Canadian geese fell to the ground from the smell Two moose walked through her yard and fell over from the smell. And ducks, raccoon, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. They must have really stunk. Finally, even the skunk fell over. Tina's friends decided they had to do something. So they all came to her house and they knocked. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and took her to the river. Then they held their noses and they took off her socks. Oh, look how dirty they are. Gross! I bet they did stink. Some of the kids held Tina while some of the kids washed the socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. The fish in the river all floated the top and acted like they were dead. Look at all the bubbles. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. And the kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, the people said, why does the river smell like dirty, stinky socks?
toad. Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina. They look nice when they're clean. And they smell nice when they're clean. And they feel nice when they're clean. Tina put on her socks and said, I'm going to wear clean socks from now on. The beavers left grandfather's house and went back to the river. The Canadian geese got up and flew off, and the fish decided that they weren't dead. Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are nice and clean, and I think it would be very nice if you would take me to town and get me a nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Do you promise to wash it? Tina's mother said. No, said Tina. If I wait long enough, my friends from school will wash it for me. <gasps> wow. Look what the kids did to her when she said that. They tossed her, didn't they? But she got her new shirt. Wow. I like that book. I hope you don't wear your socks until they're smelly. <laughs> don't like smelly socks. Okay, we need to sing our closing song, okay? Okay, hand out, elbow in it. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. Yes, I do. I love each and every one of you. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.